When a woman is dissatisfied with the size, shape, or consistency of her breast, it can become difficult for her to feel attractive and feminine. After 18 years of having breast implants, friend of Healthy Life, Kanita, was noticing some deflating in her right sailing implant. So we headed to the offices of triple board certified plastic surgeon, Dr. Richard Shafu of La Jolla Plastic Surgery to learn more about plastic surgery, breast augmentation, and what important decisions need to be made when deciding whether plastic surgery is right for you. Well, hello everybody. Today we're here in La Jolla, California, lovely La Jolla, California, with Dr. Shafu. And how are you today? Fine, how are you? So, you know, one of the things is, is that uh, there are a lot of misconceptions about, you know, augmentation and the safety of it and the techniques as well. The newer implants, like you were saying, are, are better engineered, better designed. The shells are much more sturdy than they were. The actual silicone material is really no longer a liquid material. The silicone implant on the inside and, uh, has actually uh, like a gummy bear material. Okay. So if you were to cut this implant in half, and hold it upright like this, nothing will leak It'll out. Stay it stay intact. Ooh, that's good. There's no liquid. There's that's nowhere great. to go. So you haven't had any problems with your previous? No problems at all. Just um, after 18-year-old implants and after having a, a daughter, they just just little little bit looser, um, you know, in the one. Okay. And that's what we it's cause. common, right? It's very common because, you know, we we continue to age. I mean, just as our implants are now 18 years <laughs> of age, unfortunately, <laughs> we're also 18 oh, yeah. years older. Right. I think the most important thing, Patrick, in, in terms of a patient's outcome for surgery is how they find the doctor. The take-home message is that you want a surgeon that does breast augmentation or breast surgery to be certified by the American Board of Plastic Surgery, number one. Number two, someone that is, is a member of what's called the American Society of Plastic Surgeons, or ASPS. So the next process, uh, what, what we'll do, Kanita and I will actually do an examination, do some measurements, okay. talk a little more in detail. Well, thanks so much for having us, and I uh, really appreciate it. And we'll see you in a little bit. So you had some challenges I hear. So for Kanita, um, there were some significant asymmetries in terms of the pocket or the, uh, for the implant, so we had to work on that part. Uh, differences in, in her skin envelope, nipple position, so a lot of challenges, but part of what we do in plastic surgery is we like challenges. In terms of implant size, we, we, um, we increased the volume, uh, I think by about 150 yeah. cc's okay. uh, from her initial uh, sized implant. And now what have people said that uh, have seen you? Everyone can't, they can't believe it. They just look really natural. They're, I love the size because it's a sporty look. Right. Even though it's actually a little bigger. A little bit bigger, yeah, but it's I think it just, he made it fit my body better, and my favorite thing is that he actually kind of tightened them in so they're more together. I feel great. And we had some good advice, board certified individual, correct board certification obviously. Correct. Make sure that obviously you check out their work and get references, because it is your body after all. And then, success. Success. Well, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thanks, Kanita. Thank you. Thanks for being our guinea pig here. Oh, I bet you're pretty happy. I'm beyond happy. Beyond you words. <laughs> you're the man. <laughs> and thank you so much for being here with us today. And